anybody who sparked your interest recently? Um, since primary one, I had this guy I like. Oh, really? Well, what do you like about him? He's very kind. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm currently a student at SMU. I have been in a relationship with my girlfriend for the past three years, but my dilemma is this. The first option is obviously getting married as soon as possible once the house is ready, but that would mean I wouldn't be financially stable. The second option is waiting six to seven more years, which means I will be more financially stable, but that will also mean delaying of family planning. Hello. Hello. Hey, careful. Hi! Ooh. Hey. Okay, let's do that again because that is slippery. Hi, hey, sir. Yeah, hi, Shaiman. What's your name? Uh, be careful, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what's uh, your Daniel. Name? Yeah, okay. Hello. What's your name? Um, Elise. Elise? So, Elise, how old are you? I'm 9, this year 10. So, you're 19? No. You just said 9 and 10. I just said I'm 9, but my birthday is 1st November. Oh, do you have a birthday party? I don't know. If you if you do have, I'm, am I invited? I don't know. So how, how old are you? I'm 26. Uh, I'm an editor by profession. Uh, okay. I'm also a makeup artist and I'm a mom of one. Oh, mom of one. How, yeah. How's that like? Fun? So it's been two years of parenting. Yeah, it's been a lot. <laughs> so tell me more about your friends in school. Anybody who sparked your interest recently? Um, since primary one, I had this guy I like. Oh, really? Well, what do you like about him? He's very kind. Ah. For me, simple. I'm a man with experience in life at my age, okay? I have two divorces. I've divorced twice. So if you ask me how to save a marriage, I'm the last person. <laughs> so maybe I'll tell you more. Lah. Okay, okay. So I'm together with my girlfriend for about three years already. Okay. So I'm 25 now. Okay. But I'm still studying. I think we've we reached the stage whereby we are ready for the next step, which oh. is obviously marriage and then maybe a family. Mm. I do not know if I should get married immediately after I complete my studies or should I wait a little bit longer than that because you know to get married it can be quite expensive what, what do you think? What are your reasons for getting married like right away? Um, when it comes to family planning yeah. uh, we, do want to, we do want to have two kids okay. and we don't want the two kids to be quite similar in age or oh, nearby okay. so we want them to be quite spaced apart like about four to five years okay. Would you like to get married one day? Have you thought mm. about it? Maybe. Maybe? Alright, I mean you're because still Because I want to get kids. Oh really? Yeah. How many kids do you want? I don't know. I'll feel quite bored when there's no siblings, but then I'll also get annoyed when there's siblings. Most important thing is the two of you. What sort of life do you want? You do have commitment, right? Financial commitment. Of course, yeah. Okay. So first and foremost, you have to calculate your, your commitment. Both your salary combined. What you have balanced. Is it sufficient for a normal life? If you ask me, I would say you should wait a while longer. Really? Then you can maybe have more time to get your your like to know your girlfriend more. I would say definitely like take your time with it. I know that age is a factor. My mm. husband had a very similar um dilemma because mm. he also told himself the same thing. I I just I want to have my first kid before I'm thirty because I get too old, cannot mm. play with the baby, blah, blah, all this like, <laughs> like logistical reason like oh I cannot like, you know physically like carry the baby anymore. What like I'm pretty sure he's still carrying so after thirty. 30s. He just shuts yeah, down. exactly. Right. <laughs> Suddenly he's like old. Yeah, but that that was his first reasoning. But now when we talk about it, um, when after actually having a kid, he actually mm. says um actually I would have mind like waiting a bit longer to have children it's actually like like you said there's a lot of factors and and um you know money is one of the mm. one of the big ones you see uh, being in love is the most beautiful thing because in love everything is free okay, okay? marriage is where everything costs money <laughs> yes that's true okay so do not if you don't want your fantasy your fairy tale to end too fast Okay, which it will end. I tell you, as a married man, I tell you, it will end. No matter what you, how you try, it will end. But whether how long or how short. Okay. <laughs> maybe you get not so many kids. Like maybe just just one, two, and you make like the age difference like quite small. But it can be quite expensive to to have two children in the same age group. Yeah, but then they will get along better. Mm, I guess, I guess. I don't know, but I feel like if you wait any longer, yeah. it's more of like you reach this now stage in the relationship right. where you're just stagnant. You know what I mean? Like, no, I'm telling you, no. no. After, 
No. <laughs> from somebody who's been with the same person for like 10 years ten, no before way. we got married. 10 years. Okay, yeah. We are high school sweethearts. So we were oh, from, from, from secondary school. And then after that, we really waited all the way until we were in a place where uh, we were both working a few years already. And then we, we took the leap to um, get married. Wow. Yeah. So, wow. <laughs> duration is just, a, is just a number. The number of years is just a number. Really? <laughs> As I said, the most important thing is I cannot tell you because why? You see, sometimes even you think that money is not enough, but both of you want to be together, believing that you can struggle together. You might not listen to any advice. That's very not? true. Your girlfriend might say, why delay? You know, all the relatives know about us, and then you delay, then how? So that, That's actually what's happening now. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having kids especially, you really need a sense of maturity. Uh, this is going to be so philosophical and all that, but really, really like, you're, you are no longer, you don't belong to yourself anymore. You have to dedicate everything to your child, especially in the first like three to four years at least. So you have to be ready to be in that head, head space. So Elise, what do you think I should do? So I would advise you to not rush to get married. Spend more time with your girlfriend and know all the things that she likes. Mm -hmm. And maybe go work and then like earn enough money to take care of kids. And then yeah. you get married and then you get children. Yeah, that sounds like a really good plan. I think I might do that. If you ask me, I think that you should wait a bit longer. Get your career in order first and then go and think about marriage. Because no point building a family halfway and then because of financial problems, things don't work out. And then you start fighting because of money and all that. Whereas by delaying it, you could have, that could be prevented. All, yeah. the, all those problems regarding yeah. money. Yeah, all the financial problems, no more. So Uncle Sulaiman, I want to thank you so much for all your advice. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, I have a nice okay. day. Yeah, okay. anyway, I wish you to have a happy marriage. I, thank <laughs> okay. you so much. I hope yeah, so. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, thank, thank you for your bye -bye. time, Elise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You don't drink? No, thank you. Oh. I think that while all three of them have provided me with some very valuable nuggets of wisdom, it has given me um, more things to consider with regards to my dilemma. Shazana shared that when you're responsible for a child, you kind of immerse yourself in that responsibility. So I think that's something that is very new to me, or I would say insightful. And uh, for Uncle Sulaiman, he did mention something about as a unit, or me and your, my future wife, uh, handle a problem. So I think that's a very unique and interesting point of view. So yeah, I think this is a conversation that I'll probably have to have with my girlfriend. We'll definitely keep all these uh, different perspectives in mind. Thank you for watching this episode on You Got Watch. Do remember to like, subscribe and turn on the notifications on this YouTube channel. Bye-bye!